Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. In today's video, we're going to be doing a Sephora haul. This huge box is full of skincare products and I'm going to go through them with you one by one and explain why I purchased and what I purchased. So if you're interested, grab a snack, get comfortable and let's go through all these products together. Now before I go through every single skincare product that I purchased from Sephora, I want to give you a little bit of a background of my uh, skin. I have very dry and sensitive skin and I have acne scars. I've used Accutane for nine months and right now I'm in the process of getting rid of all these uh, redness on my face. So I have to implement uh, certain skincare ingredients to my skincare routine, but I have to do them uh, gradually. What I basically have right now is something called post-inflammatory erythema, which is the, uh, the redness you get after you have your acne disappears. You have those red marks, you know, and then post inflammatory hyperpigmentation is a little bit different than that. You get more of uh, like brown spots rather than red spots. That's why um, they're two different things. But ingredients like uh, azelaic acid, alpha, alpha arbutrin, vitamin C, copper peptides, collagen, these ingredients, you need to use them if you want to get rid of your scars, acne scars. And there is a time and place where you need to use them. You cannot do it all at once together, unfortunately. So um, basically now you have a, a little bit of an idea of what kind of skincare products that I need. So now let's jump into what I actually purchased. The first product I'm going to go through is the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Glow Juice Antioxidant Face Serum. This is a non-comedogenic, by the way, all of the face serums, face oils that I purchase are non-comedogenic. This is a face serum that is clinically proven to improve four key dimensions of healthy looking skin, brightness, smoothness, sign, signs of tiredness and hydration over time. You get 15 milligrams of this product and I feel like this is not worth the price that you pay for because you get such small product in here. So the next time I purchase a vitamin C, I feel like I'm going to uh, opt for a different serum. But this has been uh, working well for me and I'm still happy with my purchase of this. So the second vitamin C serum I'm going to talk about is from the Inky List. This is the 15% vitamin C and EGF serum. This is a delicate yet powerful lightweight serum that delivers a power dose of actives to help support natural skin elasticity and visibly brighten dual skin. So I will keep you posted on how this serum works out for me. The third product I'm going to be talking about is also from the Inky List. This is the collagen peptide serum. This is supposed to make the skin appear plumper and firmer to help reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Now collagen production in your body is really important. I'm actually doing an in-depth review of each serum or cream or a face mask that I use that really work for me. If you're interested in seeing those videos, consider subscribing. So that's the third product that I purchased. Now the fourth product I'm going to be going through is the uh, is actually from First Aid Beauty. This is the Bounce Boosting Serum with Collagen and Peptides. This is actually my second bottle of this. This is supposed to help improve firmness as well as flexibility of your skin, thus aiding in other skincare products giving better results in your skin. So. The first time around, I was really happy with this product. It made my uh, skin brighter and it made it very smooth and firm. So I repurchased it and this is the fourth product. The fifth product I'm going to talk about is actually from the Drunk Elephant. This is a C Firma Fresh Day Serum. This is a vitamin C serum as well. This is supposed to help enzymatically dissolve surface dead skin cells as well as it hydrates and soothes. 
So since my dermatologist uh, recommended that I use vitamin C, I've just purchased all these vitamin C serums from different brands because I want to really implement vitamin C into my skin routine to get rid of my um, acne scars and my uh, post uh, inflammatory erythema. So this is another vitamin C serum that I purchased. The sixth product I'm going to talk about is just a nice cinnamide serum from the Inky List. This is also supposed to help control excess oil while reducing blemish, redness, and hyperpigmentation. So if you don't have niacinamide uh, implemented into your skincare routine, I highly recommend that you do. Niacinamide has a lot of benefits and this is a very affordable product. So this is the sixth product that I purchased from Sephora. The seventh product I'm going to talk about is actually Dr. Jart Sisa Pear Tiger Grass Repair Serum. This is one of the products that really helps with post-inflammatory erythema, which is very different from post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. This is another product that I keep repurchasing and I'm really happy with the results that I get. I feel like my red, it really helps with the redness and the scars. It has a green texture which is supposed to help get rid of red scars that you get after you have a lot of acne. So this is one product that I truly rely on that I swear by. Going with the same brand, this is the Dr. Jot Sissa Pear Tiger Grass Repair Cream. This is the cream version. It has a lot of the same ingredients that the serum has. So I have this whole line. I actually purchased the, the sleeping intensive mask as well. So um, I keep using these products for my post-inflammatory erythema. And I feel like it's really helping with the redness and, and the scars. So these products I repurchased again. Now, since my dermatologist told me to implement my vitamin C into my skincare routine, I actually purchased this Ren Radiance Glow Daily Vitamin C Gel Cream, which has a very light texture. It has a gel-like texture and it absorbs really well. So this is one of the products that I purchased. This is supposed to be a lightweight gel cream that not only enhances the skin's natural glow, but also hydrates it. Vitamin C and magnesium smooth and re-energize the skin, while Terrapod Extra eliminates the skin's complexion, which I would agree with all those claims. So this is one another product that I purchased from Sephora Sale. Now, one product I refrained from repurchasing and repurchasing again and again, but I finally bit the bullet and uh, I bought the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in the original flavor. I think this is the, what is it, Berry Fruits Rouge. So, and I've been really happy with this uh, lip mask. I use it at night, in the morning, my lips feel more plump and hydrated. And I think that this is um, worth your money. Now, after using Accutane for nine months, I had to, uh, my skin was really dry and flaky and I had to implement some hydrating serums into my skincare routine. That's the first thing that I was told to do by my dermatologist. So I've been really looking into hydrating serums that were non-comedogenic. I think I'm pronouncing that wrong, but whatever, you get me. One of the products that I've been, I've had my eye on for a long time is the Drunk Elephant B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. This is supposed to provide immediate hydration while improving skin's water retention abilities, promoting meaningful long-lasting hydration, and improving skin's texture and tone to reveal a more luminous, youthful complexion. This is one of the products that I purchased. It's, it's pretty pricey. I'm hoping that it'll be worth the money. Another similar product, also non-comedogenic, is the Summer Fridays Dream Oasis Deep Hydration Serum. This is full of intensely hydrating ingredients and combats signs of aging with a blend of powerful antioxidants. 
So this is another hydrating serum that I purchased. Another hydrating serum that I purchased is from Bioma Beauty. This is the hydrating serum. This also has a lot of um, hydrating ingredients, including a triceramide complex, squalene, and glycerin. Glycerin is one of the products that really, really hydrates your skin. Um, so this is another product that I purchased. And lastly, this is a Summer Friday Shade Drops Mineral Milk Sunscreen, SPF 30. It says, this is not your average sunscreen. This reef-friendly creation is enriched with intensely hydrating ingredients and combats signs of aging with a blend of powerful antioxidants. We all need a product like this, either a BB cream or a CC cream or um, products like this. I'm hoping I'll be happy with this. I'm actually hoping I'll be happy with all these purchases, but I will keep you updated, like I said, I'm doing a series of uh, videos where I talk about the skincare products that I am really happy with that really helped my dry and sensitive and uh, scarred face because of all the blemishes that I used to get. Thank God my skin feels a lot more even in tone and the redness is going away slowly but surely and I think I owe it to all of my research that I do before I purchase all these products and you know I owe it to my dermatologist she's always nice and really helpful and tells me what I need to use like which stage on my uh, skincare I'm at like um, a few months ago she told me that I can only use hydrating serums and my face cream but right now she says you're ready to use vitamin C so that's why I purchased these vitamin C serums so I have two more products to talk about that I don't have them with me. I purchased them on Sephora and they're on the way. I'll pop them on the screen here. One of them, Inky List Redness Solution with 10% Azelaic Acid. This is supposed to visibly reduce appearance of redness and soothe the skin. It has 3% alatoin, uh, which helps soothe skin. This anti-redness serum gives the skin a more even complexion and instantly soothe the skin. We'll see. Azelaic acid, alpha arbitrin, niacinamide, um, vitamin C, all these products are supposed to help soothe the skin, get rid of redness, and it's supposed to be really good for both uh, post-inflammatory erythema and uh, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So we'll see. But the other product that I purchased is the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. This is supposed to boost hydration when needed. It is recommended using over your moisturizer for best results. It is gentle enough to use daily if desired. So these are all of my Sephora purchases and there's going to be another episode where I talk about my makeup purchases but these are all the skincare products that, that I purchased from Sephora a VIB sale. If you have any questions about these products and if you want an in-depth review of each serum, cream, etc. that I bought, leave a comment below and I will uh, review them for you guys in depth. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!